You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Khalifa sent a cable to the Queen of the United Kingdom in Northern Ireland, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, on the occasion of the reassuring results concerning the initial examinations conducted by Her Majesty and her discharge from hospital. His Majesty expressed to Her Majesty the Queen his sincere wishes of abundant health and happiness. His Royal uh, Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable to the Queen of the United Kingdom in Northern Ireland, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, on the occasion of the reassuring results concerning the initial examinations conducted by Her Majesty and her discharge from hospital. Her, his Royal Highness expressed to Her Majesty the Queen his sincere wishes of continued health and happiness. Education Minister Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi has stated that the process of restructuring schools carried out as part of the ministry's restructuring includes the introduction of a number of new jobs to contribute to raising the capabilities of these schools and providing the best services to the administrative and teaching staff. The minister indicated that the move is in line with the education ministry's interest in giving schools more power in a way that would serve the educational process, noting that the pilot implementation of the project will take place in four schools, namely the Sheikh Moza bin Hamad Al Khalifa Comprehensive Girls' School, the Rufa Intermediate Boys School, the Al Mustaqbal Primary Girls School, and the Bin Nafir Elementary Boys School. Dr. Naimi indicated that the new jobs include quality of life, language support, and digital empowerment specialists, and social health, academic, and professional counselors, among others, noting that the project aims to improve the quality of the educational process and develop services to school affiliates. The Kingdom of Bahrain joins the countries of the world in the celebration of the International Day for the Eradication of Polio, which falls on October the 24th every year. On this occasion, the Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed al-Saleh, stated that the Kingdom has taken all necessary measures to eliminate polio through the monitoring and immunization system. The Minister of Health indicated that the National Epidemiological and Lab Surveillance and Immunization Indicators confirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is free of polio and the absence of any cases of wild polio for more than two decades in the Kingdom, thanks to the support of His Majesty the King and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in community awareness in, in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister stressed the keenness of the Kingdom of Bahrain to provide free vaccination services in all health centers to all citizens and residents of the Kingdom, in addition to ensuring that school students complete vaccinations before they enroll in any stage of study in public and private schools and monitor coverage rates with routine doses against polio. The Kingdom of Bahrain participated in the closing ceremony of the 21st session of the Arab Radio and Television Festival, which was organized by the Arab States Broadcasting Union, held in the City of Culture in the Republic of Tunisia under the slogan Communication and Renewal. The Kingdom of Bahrain's TV had participated in artistic segments that were broadcast directly from the Heritage Village, which include lyrical segments of ancient Bahraini arts, which occupies a high position in the memory of ancient Gulf folk art, in addition to shedding light on traditional folk dishes and the hospitality they express. It also showcased the elegance of Bahraini women as well as Bahraini gold, which is characterized by precision in innovation and design. Taking part in this festival were representatives of the union's member bodies in the fields of production, directing and program preparation, as well as representatives of private Arab production companies, news agencies and foreign Arabic-speaking radio and television stations, in addition to representatives of private radio networks and international radio and television unions. The Arab Radio and Television Festival is held annually and organized by the Arab States Broadcasting Union. The Davis Cup matches of the Asia Oceania Group 4 event continued at Polytechnic University in Asa Town. The final regional group event of the combined 2021-22 Davis Cup season is being held in the kingdom with 14 nations competing for three promotion spots. The best performing nations at regional group 3 level in 2021 will compete in the World Group 2 playoffs next March. The best performing nations at regional group 4 level in 2021 will win promotion to their respective group 3 for next year. The Asia Oceania Group 4 event features 12 nations. Bahrain, Cambodia, Guam, Iran, Iraq, Kyrgyzstan, Mongolia, Oman, Saudi Arabia, Turkmenistan, Yemen, and the United Arab Emirates. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness the wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,172,664 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,136,552 had taken the second, and 423,785 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccine. 
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 650 with 64 recoveries, 66 registered new cases and one death. 17 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 45 were contacts of active cases and 17 were travel related. The ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.